Assalamu alaikum everyone and good day. This is Abdullah Al-Hosani, Director of Commercial uh, Distribution and Strategic Partnerships. Thank you for joining us on this webinar that was jointly developed by Budabi Chambers and Ittihad Credit Insurance. We will be sharing valuable insights about EC Act solutions that still are made to support businesses' growth in the international markets and protect your businesses from commercial and political risks. Uh, inshallah, بعد the webinar will be in Arabic. The team will be in the link in the chat room. In the case of anyone who will be in the webinar in Arabic. Let me introduce you to my colleague Yasin, head of commercial underwriting, that will take us through a small presentation to explain how we can protect uh, from commercial and political risks. Yasin, the floor is yours, please. Uh, thank you, Abdullah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, Abdullah will. Uh, Great and uh, thank uh, warmly Abu Dhabi Chamber of Commerce for organizing this uh, interesting uh, workshop and uh, webinar of Abu Dhabi Business People Community. Um, and uh, I will be, I mean, as head of risk underwriting at Etihad Credit Insurance, I will be presenting a short presentation that uh, I hope will find insightful related to the solution we propose to help businesses navigate liquidity challenges and to be prepared for future risks. So if you can confirm, Abdullah, that the uh, presentation is viewable now? Yes, it is visible. Perfect, excellent. So let's start uh, the presentation. So to, I mean, in this presentation, I will be presenting uh, ECI solutions to support United Arab Emirates based companies to grow trade, protect against commercial and non-commercial risks. So this is the, let's say, the journey I will take you through. So first of all, we'll start with a short introduction of who is Etihad Credit Insurance. Uh, then what are the benefits, risk, coverage related to trade credit insurance and how it can benefit UAE-based company. Uh, then we'll go take you through the, the suites of solutions uh, Etihad Credit Insurance is proposing. And last but not least, uh, how Etihad Credit Insurance uh, and banks cooperate in order to facilitate uh, businesses and navigate through these uh, challenging times. So first, uh, Etihad Credit Insurance has been established in late 2017 but is fully operational since February 2018, so a bit more than two years now. Our mandate is to secure national export credit as per the cabinet uh, resolution. Uh, we operate as the United Arab Emirates Federal Export Credit Agency. We have been funded by the governments of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Ras Al Khaimah, Fujairah and Ajman. And we want to play a catalyst role in the promotion of United Arab Emirates non-oil exports, trade investments, strategic sector development in line with UAE Vision 2021 uh, and economic agenda. So our mission overall is to ensure commercial and non-commercial risks associated with uh, export and re-export of goods, works, services, and foreign investments of UAE-based companies through a range of conventional and Sharia compliant export credit financing and investment insurance solutions. So now let's see when and how and when do you think you should uh, go and use credit insurance, how it can be helpful to, to an organization. So probably, I mean, you are selling goods uh, or services on a business to business basis or you are cons considering providing open credit terms to your customers or maybe your customers have been requesting it to you. Or maybe you want to improve your cash flow, or you have, as most of the companies, concentration of sales on specific customers in your portfolio. Or maybe you have plans also to expand into new markets, sectors and industry with, with which you are not yet familiar and you want to be secure on that. Or you are wondering what would be the impact of the non-payment of by one of your customers and what will be the impact on your financial performance? So if your answer is yes in a few of these questions, then you should definitely consider trade credit insurance as an interesting, interesting tool to help you improve your business. So what does 
uh, let's say, ECI provides uh, to the market, basically, we want to say, but it's very important, ECI is here to offer confidence to exporters and investors. How do we provide this confidence? Uh, we offer uh, tailor-made uh, solutions uh, to them to be able to be covered on financial and uh, commercial and political risks. So how do we do this? Uh, we do it thanks to our risk expertise. We do buyer analysis and rating on uh, your uh, portfolio on buyers. We do industry research. We do country risk rating and monitoring. And we have, uh, let's say, advanced and uh, developed uh, risk monitoring tools. All this is done uh, through partnerships because we believe in partnerships. We're a partnership with Chamber of Commerce. Uh, one, one of today's event uh, is uh, an example with Abu Dhabi Chamber. Uh, we are partner, partnering with banks, other export credit agencies, unions, and other insurers as well. What do we offer? We offer guarantees and risk mitigation. So if you are insured with uh, Etihad Credit Insurance and a uh, default of payment arise from one of your buyers, who will pay the claim? You'll be indemnified and protected. We'll also help you uh, in the debt collection and before we reach to the, let's say, the official claim and the official uh, final, let's say, uh, non-payment. And we'll propose you an interactive tool to manage your, uh, your portfolio file. Last but not least, we also, to do all these things, we rely on uh, information and data. Uh, we have partnership with information agencies, rating agencies, which is one of our uh, major partners. Uh, we also rely on public information, the information we gather from our experience and portfolio, uh, overview already uh, identified among uh, the buyers of portfolio of our insured. And also, we collect information from our policy holders who are in the front line, and also from the buyer visits we execute. So let's see now what are the advantages and benefits of trade credit insurance. Uh, there are many benefits uh, of uh, uh, you know, using trade credit insurance. I will take you through, let's say, the seven most important. So first, it's a fantastic tool for risk mitigation. So it protects your company against insolvency and protracted default uh, from your buyers and protects your receivables. Receivables are an important asset in your balance sheet, balance sheet. So it's worth being insured and insuring your uh, receivables. Second point that is uh, often forgotten is that insurance can be a tool to increase your sales and enhance your competitiveness. Why? Because if you are insured, you'll be able to extend more credit to your customers. Uh, maybe extended terms of payments, and you'll be able to sell more while being protected and uh, insured. Uh, it also facilitates uh, the financing of your company. Uh, how? Uh, so being insured, your as I mentioned before, your receivable will be protected. So once receivable are protected and the risk is supported by ECI, this will give more comfort to the banking uh, partners to uh, to allocate you and increase your uh, credit limits and maybe also offer you uh, reduced interest rates why because the risk is already let's say supported or outsourced on uh, Etihad credit insurance uh, partner uh, it reduces uh, bad debt allowance and it improves also your cash flow because in case you have uh, undisputed or unpaid invoice you know exactly when you'll be indemnified by Etihad Trade Insurance. It's uh, also an interesting tool for balance sheet protection. As I mentioned earlier, last, like most of the companies that you are exposed to this 80-20 uh, Pareto law that, uh, let's say, says that 80% of your turnover is generated by 20% of your customers. So this definitely, let's say- yes, in, I think your voice. Sorry? Uh, okay, let, let's continue then. Uh, where are we? Okay, non payment. So it protects you against the non payment, but the preserves. It improves your uh, DSO and your cash flow. And also, it helps you to, let's say, uh, 
go on your markets, uh, you know, prospect your markets, increase your sales by being more competitive, offering uh, open credit terms. Uh, last but not least, it's uh, definitely a very good tool to enhance your trade management. What you used to say to our uh, customers is that you should cons consider Etihad Credit Insurance as, uh, let's say, an extended uh, credit management team partnering with your team. So we give you an unbiased third-party credit opinion, reliable, based on reliable information updated, with also the continuous monitoring of your buyer risk. Uh, this will definitely reduce your credit investigation costs because all this will be supported by your credit uh, insurance policy and be benefiting from this at a very, let's say, competitive price. We help you in debt collection. The service of debt collection is included into the policy and it helps you also to forecast your premium and write off, if any, on your balance sheet. So now let's see what are the risks covered by Etihad Credit Insurance. Two big families of risks. One is the political risk. The other one is the commercial risk. So let's start with the political risk. So there are four types of political risks that are covered under the policy. Non-payment caused by war and civil disturbance. Non-honoring sovereign obligation of sovereign obligation or dealing with a government body abroad. If let's say they do not honor the, the, their, uh, let's say, duty in the contract will be covered. The non-payment caused by uh, currency transfer restriction. This uh, unfortunately exists in some of, uh, of the countries. Uh, non-payment caused by expropriation as well. As far as commercial risk is uh, concerned, uh, we ensure the insolvency of the buyer. We ensure also the protracted default, the delayed payments. Basically, the difference between insolvency and protracted default is that in insolvency case, there is an official court decision that states that this company is insolvent. Protracted default is a company that is delaying payment, but not yet considered as insolvent by the relevant authority. The, the cons arbitrary consolation of a contract by a buyer or the failure in, uh, let's say, opening or issuing an uh, MFC. Uh, now let's see what are the solutions that uh, Etihad uh, Insurance is proposing to UAE businesses. So before going into the, the solutions, I will just give you and explain you how trade insurance works, basically. It's very simple. There are three parties in the contract. Three parties. So there is an insur credit insurance contract between Etihad Credit Insurance and the, and the exporter. Uh, then there will be a commercial contract between the exporter and the importer. So how will it work? Once you are insured by Etihad Credit Insurance, uh, Etihad Credit Insurance will be, uh, let's say, allocating a credit limit for you on a specific buyer, and will take care of the risk monitoring and the debt collection if any incident happen. So let's explore now the whole turnover policy. So this is basically the most common uh, tool used by companies. It fits the needs of small to very large corporates. It's a comprehensive uh, portfolio uh, protection that includes generally both of the political and commercial risk. It's um, how does it work? So basically, uh, it's a high credit insurance will be uh, designing uh, a policy based on your uh, portfolio and will be allocating credit limits on each of your uh, specific uh, buyers, specifically on, on, on your portfolio. So once this credit limit is set, you can trade up to that level uh, and being insured by ECI uh, with this buyer and being protected. So this is basically how it works. So it's a full uh, comprehensive uh, portfolio protection. The, one of the key advantage is it doesn't require, require a lot of, let's say, uh, administrative uh, management from the policy order. It's a user-friendly solution. It's very common. So once you are used to it, it, it goes uh, very easily. A second product, uh, excess of loss, is, let's say, more designed and uh, destined to large corporations who are uh, willing to take on their own books a significant or large part of the risk and 
wants to ensure only what we call the catastrophic risk, so very big risks above a certain threshold that they have set internally. So the advantage of this tool is that it gives uh, full autonomy to the credit manager and uh, they can set their own credit limits on their customers. If uh, they reach the level of, uh, and in the past, the level of the agreed threshold in terms of risks, it will be coming here and supporting indemnifying the customer on the, let's say, the, the higher layer of risk agreed. Then we have a single buyer uh, policy. So this policy is destined to generate a company who has a strong concentration of risk on few buyers and do not want to ensure, let's say, their full portfolio, but only the concentrated risk on uh, specific buyers. So basically, in this case, uh, it, the insurance will be designing a policy for this to protect you against the insolvency or the protracted default on this specific buyer, and uh, will be allocating uh, a credit limit on this specific buyer on which you'll be able to trade uh, and will be covered for uh, the deliveries you are doing on, under the policy period. Uh, single risk is a bit different, uh, is when you are dealing with an investment or you are protecting a uh, risk that will last for uh, what we call the medium long term, between two and seven years. Uh, this tool is specific and include both uh, uh, commercial and political risk, uh, and it helps the policyholder to, let's say, facilitate the borrowing capacity related to that project, to finance the project. It's generally required also by by a financing bank uh, to, the, to the to the exporter to have or to the investor to have this uh, this solution to be let's say it allows the bank to mitigate the risks for themselves. Also. Uh, then we have the top, top up solution. Top up solution, as the name uh, uh, says it, it's uh, an additional uh, coverage, an additional layer we add to uh, an existing policy. So if you are already insured by a, a provider, but you feel that there is a lack of capacity from this, uh, from this insurance provider, we can support you and, the, and, the, and your insurer to gain, uh, let's say, to be more covered, to gain higher coverage by add, adding a layer of coverage in addition to uh, the first layer. Generally, this works in parallel with the, the first uh, layer policy. And uh, it, it is linked with the primary policy uh, dates, actually, start and, uh, and end. And the premium here is calculated on the exposure, the additional exposure given. And it's, uh, I mean, one of the benefits is that it is uh, less administrative work for the, for the user, for the policy order. Okay. Now I will uh, take you through and explain you how Etihad Trade Insurance can facilitate you uh, with and help you with the liquidity issues you may face and how it works uh, with banks and factors. So there are two ways uh, of, let's say, working with banks and, and factors is, the first one is when the bank is, uh, let's say, uh, is the loss pay of the policy. What it means, it means that the exporters will still be the insured uh, in the policy. So there will be a contract between each had the insurance and the exporter, and the bank, the financing bank will be the, the, the loss pay. The bank will be assigned as a loss pay. It means that whenever a claim happens, the bank will be the beneficiary of the indemnification paid uh, by Etihad Trade Insurance. So this is to give comfort to the bank, uh, let's say to, to finance and to extend credit facilities to, uh, to, uh, to an exporter or a manufacturer based in the, U, in the UAE. Because here the risk will be supported by Etihad Trade Insurance, the, the bank will be uh, supplying the liquidity. The second way of working with banks or, or, and factors uh, with Etihad Trade Insurance is when the bank is directly insured by Etihad Trade Insurance. So in this case, the, the contract will be between Etihad Trade Insurance and the bank. So the bank will subscribe to the policy, will be the insured. And will be requesting credit limit on the companies uh, the bank want to, 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 to let's say to insure against. So the bank becomes the, as I mentioned, the beneficiary of the policy. 
and all the let's say administrative work will be done by the bank in this case not contrary to the first case where let's say the, the advantage for the bank is that they will only take care of the financing the company will still be uh, managing uh, its policy in, independently but in case of claim the bank will be receiving the, the indemnification uh, we have also in uh, the supply finance uh, we offer reverse factoring policy so in this case where uh, let's say ECI will be covering the exporter during the whole period during the supply chain so to facilitate the financing of the of the exporter and will be ensuring also the exporter against his credit risk toward its uh, its customers so it's buyer centric the the buyer uh, rating will be more, more uh, very important because the credit limit will be assigned based on this on this rating of this, uh, and and the risk uh, assessed it helps the exporter optimize its working capital it helps also the, the supplier both of them will be benefit uh, of, of this tool and it will help uh, let's say the whole value chain and all partners in this uh, in this uh, for the transaction and, and, and ensuring the risk so this is uh, this was a brief introduction of uh, of Etihad. who is it had insurance what are the product to offer what are the benefits related to this uh, to these products for these companies? So now, if you are uh, if you have any question, we'll be happy to to to, to, to help and answer that. My friend Yasin, so how can we apply for this uh, facility? Now everyone is here are interested and they want to know how can they apply for for this uh, service? Okay, it's 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 very simple. It's very simple. Uh, it doesn't require much of work for the for the for the exporter. Basically, they just have to get in touch with our uh, uh, with yourself or our business development team uh, they will be uh, we will share i mean the business development team will share with uh, the exporter a form to fill it's a two page uh, form it's very easy to to fill which captures let's say uh, important information for us to be able to to let's say design a customized uh, policy for for the need of the exporter basically it captures the information about the turnover they want to ensure the location of their uh, risks, where are located their, their, their customers and, and their buyers, what are, uh, let's say, the size of the limit requested, and what are the payment terms. These are, let's say, the, the key information that requires this. And uh, is there any fees? Of, uh, some people are interested to understand what, what, is the, what kind of benefits they get. So submitting the application, is it chargeable or is it for free? No, no this is for free. This is completely for free. So you just uh, submit your application, uh, uh, ACI expert will come back to you with a solution with com what we call the commercial terms, uh, policy design for your for your need, an indicative price uh, will be also set in the, there. You'll have an idea of what we call the maximum liabilities, technical terms, let's say, um, related to, to to the contract you're proposing you, the solution you're proposing you, and you, I mean this is cost free for you. You'll have an idea of what we offer, what it will cost you. And then it's up to you to, to, to decide to, to go forward. OK, thank you so much. And what is the pricing? How, how much I pay? As you know, as a company, I have my own thin margins. Today, with the pandemic, I'm also suffering in other payments. What is the average fees that I need to pay for the service? OK, B basically, when we're talking about a world turnover policy, it's, you will say it's very competitive, very competitive price. It's a price calculated either on exposure we grant or uh, the whole turnover. Uh, how it works, uh, the, the price is calculated based on, on the risks, you know, Abdullah. Uh, this is the principle of insurance. Uh, the higher the risk related to your, the higher the risk of your portfolio, the higher the probability of default, the higher will be the premium. But overall, generally, it's really uh, between, let's say, uh, I would say, just to give you a range, but it's very really depending on uh, sector-wise, country-wise, and so on, but it's between 0.3% to 0.5, 0.6% for the whole turnover policy. Okay. Oh, and, and, uh, this is very competitive. Yeah, I've seen also some of the inquiry that uh, since we have a very good ecosystem of partners of banks and other government entities, what uh, the, mem uh, the chamber members can benefit from these partnerships as a whole with banks oh, or yeah. other, other ECAs in particular? 
So, so, so basically, you know, we what we wanted to do, as, as you know, Abdullah and all the audience now know, we are a new entity. In other countries, there are many ACAs that are in, was set up a long time ago. So because we are new, new, and we want to really be here and uh, offer the full fledged of solution to a based company, we decided, uh, let's say, to leave Freud and to partner to, to leverage on our partner experience and uh, establishment to help UAE based company benefits uh, any on this let's say ecosystem we created for them. So they won't be penalized by the fact that ECI is a new company compared to other ECI that are actually they are even benefiting for they will be benefiting for services that were was not existing uh, at any ECI is much more let's say established than, uh, than ECI. So how they can benefit from this ecosystem is basically we have partners among our partners, banks, chamber of commerce, uh, other ECAs. So this helps us to collect information about the risks. It also helps them to benefit from interesting, uh, let's say, credit facilities from the bank at competitive price, because the, the banks will know that this company, this exporter is insured by ECI. So this also helps you to uh, give give an answer to the cost of ECI. Actually, the cost of the insurance when you aggregate all the benefits is almost nil because being okay. insured will benefit for for discount on your uh, okay. credit facilities and so on. Also, there's a there's another uh, question here that they say one of the manufacturer or traders is still only selling in the local market only in UAE, but not still outside of UAE. How can ECI help us? expand to international markets okay uh, on this we can we can help them actually because as, as i mentioned earlier we have a database maybe i didn't mention i missed this this point but it's very important we have a database of 300 million more than 300 million companies located all over the globe so what we can do for you know, companies that are based in uae interested in exporting is uh, after we had let's say a meeting to understand what is their strategy what are the markets, the, the target. We can also help them in this different strategy. And we will be proposing them based on this agreed, common agreed strategy, buyers located in countries of interest uh, that we think and we have already assessed that are already, uh, let's say, reliable partner for them. And they will be insured against uh, the risk of non-payment with this uh, proposed uh, buyers. Okay. So we can help them actually access to let's say export markets. Okay, that's great. And uh, one more question from the uh, from the members over here. He would like to know if there is also works on a buyer's importer side. So can we support some entities in importing or supply supply chain? But we have uh, we can support them on, on the supply chain because as I mentioned earlier, we are partnering with banks. So if uh, and when these imports are related or will be related to either specific and strategic sectors or to facilitate the export of goods. This, uh, we, can, we can help and get in touch with their bankers, uh, support them, give them the, let's say, the necessary comfort to allocate and grant the credit limit facilities really, uh, needed by the business to be able to import. And then we'll help them also on the other side, which is the, the export and, and sales. All right, another interesting uh, question here, uh, Yasin. It's good to have these facilities and services. It sounds good, but when it comes to the tough decision when we have to pay the claim, what is the process in that? Okay, so how it works, uh, uh, Abdullah, for our, our audience, there is a, a period that we will grant you as named as maximum credit period. So we have this period and you are free to set your uh, own, let's say, uh, credit terms under this period. Once, once this period is expired and you still not receive your payment, we will extend it by 30 days. This 30 days uh, period is to help you to, let's say, uh, to solve this uh, maybe payment issue uh, in an amicable manner with your uh, supplier. We don't want to jump in directly and, uh, let's say, affect or have negative impact on your relationship with your customer. So we give you additional 30 days just for you to try to figure out what's happening and so on. After the 30 days, I mean, you will, the, the, the exporter, you will have to, let's say, notify ECI and telling us, okay, I have uh, traded with this, uh, this buyer 
that was insured under the policy, even if it may this credit limit. Uh, this buyer is not paying. Uh, I contacted them to figure out what's happening. I don't have uh, any, let's say, advancement. And then after that, we'll start what we call the, the debt collection uh, procedure. It, uh, credit insurance will help you to do the debt collection. We'll get into contact with the buyer. We'll also hire some lawyers when uh, required, and we'll help you collect. After this, there is what we call any within this uh, period, after the end of this period, which depends uh, on cases. If it's bankruptcy, it will last only one month after the decision of the of the court. If it's uh, not a bankruptcy, what we call protracted default, after four to six months, you will be uh, indemnified. Okay, thank you for this input. And uh, another thing, uh, during the policy period, now I am insured. I have added some buyers that I'm selling to. Is there a process of monitoring or covenants that I need to meet to be eligible for this recovery, or just I just put the name in the application and I consider myself insured? How does no. it work? Okay, how it works? Uh, okay, once you are insured with ECI, once you finalize the let's say formalize the policy, we'll be giving you an access to our portal. It's a very interesting and fantastic let's say tool that will help you. Uh, and to have a view of your portfolio. What you'll be doing, we'll give you an access. We'll be selecting the buyer into our database. If the, if the buyer is not in this database, you can also create it into the database. You will uh, request for an amount directly there in the, in the platform. And this will generate, let's say, a credit limit request at our end, in the, in the back end of the system. So we'll know what is the buyer you want to trade with, what is the amount uh, requested, and we'll have all the information related to, to your policy, so we know what is the average, let's say, payment that's on your offer. So we'll do our investigation. Uh, we'll do our, our investigation on this buyer, collect all the information that will help us to, uh, let's say, make a decision on the credit, allocate the credit limit. And then at this point, you can uh, trade, let's say, safely being covered with this buyer. But generally, let's say, the, it, it's a very short, let's say, uh, it's done in a very short period. Maximum it takes, uh, depending on the location of the buyer, uh, two to five, let's say, working days. So maximum within one week, you will be knowing uh, up to what extent ECI is is covering you on this uh, on this buy. Okay, thank you for this input. Another question here is: uh, I've seen that some, uh, some uh, maybe a client has a medium to long term projects. Do we support that? Yes, in some of the presentations we have mentioned that, but they would like to hear more if they have a project in Egypt or some other uh, regions, how ECI can support in medium long term projects? If it's like, okay. I would say from one to five years or five to 10 years. So what we consider the ECI as a medium long term project, project is, let's say between two to, to seven years. We can go also up to 12 years depending on the project. So how it works, uh, I mean, the, 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 the policy holder or the, the company interested in this solution will come to ACI, will share all the information related to this project, who will be the beneficiary of the project, if they're working with other contractors, uh, what is the, what are the payment milestones, uh, who are the bankers that are supporting. If not, we can propose also and, and, uh, and recommend some, uh, some uh, banking partners to this company, based on all this information, we'll be uh, we'll be assessing the project itself, the credit worthiness, the political risk, and we'll set the credit limits. Once this credit limit is set, then you can start and work on your project. And generally, here the credit limits are what we call non-cancellable. So it, because we don't want, let's say, the the policy holder or the customer of ACI to be penalized starting the project and then for uh, X and Y reason, the cover is, uh, is withdrawn. No, we don't want this to happen. So once we agree on the credit limit, uh, it's, it's valid for all the duration of the project. Okay, that's good to know. And uh, in terms of here, one more, one another questions. Again, when, uh, about the countries. Uh, so we are, uh, the exporters can export to all the countries or there are certain limitations in certain countries. How does it work? Can I export to Iraq or to Nigeria? or some other regions? Basically, I mean, there is no, I mean, the, the only limitation we have, it's the limitation imposed by, uh, by uh, let's say, the United Nations uh, sanctioned country. 
you know? Oh, thank you, Min. Okay. So, because yani, for compliance reasons, we cannot cover on these countries. But all the other countries uh, that are not exposed to these sanctions are eligible for coverage. Then what we do, uh, it, it will depend on the project, it will depend on the buyer situation and so on. We'll do an assessment, taking into consideration the, the country risk and the, the, the buyer, let's say, intrinsic uh, solvability and, uh, and, uh, and solvability and we'll be able to set the credit limit based on this. But uh, and let's say uh, above this, uh, or if we, if we don't consider these uh, sanctioned countries, we don't have any limit limitation in terms of our country we, we, we don't cover. Okay, so uh, referring to that, did that mean ECI can support me expanding into Africa? I can go to Uganda, Kenya, East Africa, South Africa, and those regions or some banks, are they don't want to enter or support? Okay. We actually have already, uh, let's say, an interesting portfolio of policyholders, small, medium, and large, uh, let's say, companies that are exporting to Africa and are supporting them. One of the countries on which we have let's say the highest exposure today is Egypt. Of course, you know, Africa and East Africa in particular, but also North Africa are, let's say, strategic and historical partners of the UAE due to the cultural, let's say, similarities or to the, let's say, proximity of these markets to, to UAE market. So for us, definitely, we don't have any issue covering uh, this, the, the, these countries and we do it already. What about uh, South America? Do you do any appetite over there? We do also have uh, uh, exposure on this on these countries. Uh, we have exposure today on uh, Brazil, U Uruguay, Bolivia. So we don't have any any limitation in terms of uh, geography. Really, it's uh, our products is uh, destined to let's say worldwide uh, trade. Don't, you don't have any limitation unless what we call the sanctioned countries. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Yasin, for this insight. And I hope uh, the whole att attendees are happy with the feedback. And please uh, feel free to get in touch with us. The, our colleagues at Abu Dhabi Chambers will be sharing this presentation and our contact details. And feel free to call us anytime directly to have more inquiries and questions. Thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you.